Hi, in this video I'm going to teach you how to layer black fur with pastel pencils. So I know it can be really hard because although fur looks black, um, it's really not. So just using a black pencil will make it impossible to reach the depth you're probably going for. And I'm going to do a quick demo on how I layer the fur on this black German Shepherd who happens to be in some blue lighting outdoors. For the first layer, find all the hidden colors that you can in your reference. There are color picking apps that you can find if you need help. Um, in any given reference, there is probably going to be blue, purple, pink, yellow, and green. As my subject is very blue, I did my first layer in just blues and purples. Pay attention to where you see each color and then just apply it lightly and generously. Then thoroughly blend with a paper stump and push this layer deep into the tooth of the paper. Next, as it is a black dog, color the shadowed areas in black pressing kind of hard, and then make sure to keep your strokes going in the direction of the fur. I also very lightly added black over the rest of the areas to darken them a little bit. Now I'm going to go over um, this whole thing again in lighter colors. I used light purple and a light grayish blue to do this part. Um, you can also start using all sorts of other grays in this layer. And in the next layer, um, because it'll be very visible in the end product, um, I sharpened my pencils and made very careful tiny strokes in the direction of the fur. If you're having trouble making the fur look this way because it's dragging the rest of the pastel, try rotating your pencil as you make the marks. Um, I use the lightest grays and blues in this layer. If at any point the, the dog is looking too gray or too bright, add black marks in between your highlights. I did this several times throughout my layers and it really helped. You can also gently blend to give it a softer look. Finally, I got out my white pencil and made more tiny marks where the highlights were in my reference and made some adjustments to the whole thing. I hope you learned something. Let me know in the comments if you liked this video. Click like and subscribe and I hope to see you in my next video.